Ian Connor Sicko has put out another collection of tees. Um, I'm quite interested in how he puts out his clothes. I don't really care too much for the designs and stuff. I like some of the sweatsuits, but overall, the designs are not really for me. But I like the idea that he puts out collections of clothes under a kind of theme and not seasonal. So usual collections in fashion or streetwear are dedicated by seasons, you know, spring, summer, autumn, winter, fall, winter, wherever it may be, pre-fall, blah, blah, blah. But for the most part, when Ian Connor's doing collections under Sicko, it's all under a theme. And to, and this time's theme is called X's Tour. For me, this merch or the, the, this clothing, this line is incredibly corny. And maybe because I'm a grown up and stuff and I'm not 19. I think if I was 19, I'd, I'd, I'd be wearing like neighborhood um, type stuff with like, you know, fuck written on the back of it. Or, w, you know, Japanese brands love to have English swear words on the back or the front of their clothing and shit. Or like I'd be wearing super crazy anime, like, you know, shirts and hoodies. But I feel like at a certain age, it kind of gets a bit naff. And I feel like walking around with a t-shirt that says fucking all your all fucking all my ex's friends tour is a bit lame personally it doesn't really sit the best for me but you know some of it looks pretty okay i think these are baby t-shirts that have the contrasting wranglan wranglan um black sleeves with the white body and obviously the flip on there black body white sleeve the best thing out of this collection probably is the hats i think that logo sits well on the hat there's a you know nice like five panel um hats here that that sit pretty well there's an all black one and there's one with the black um you know hat and then the white rim which looks nice the white rim is an issue because if you touch your rim a lot sorry the brim of your hat too often you're going to get loads of marks over it so it'll be a bit crazy but i do like the fact that it's all been embroidered because that's one thing i hate on these you know snapback hats it's all kind of screen printed to save cost but then over time if you wear it long enough you sweat all of that flipping print screening and shit will end up cracking and peeling away so i do like the fact that it's all been embroidered but would i be okay walking around in the street with this on probably not it kind of reminds you a lot of that drake t-shirt that he had right hard dick hard feelings or something it's a bit weird a bit odd but there's something about having like swear words um again i i curse a lot day to day don't get me wrong i'm not a prude but i think at a certain age having swear words on your clothes or having slogans on your clothes overall it just it's a bit naff of, it just kind of doesn't really sit right with me but obviously somebody like a drake is definitely a fan of it because despite all the shit that happened you know recently um regarding Aeon Connor and Ye and Drake and him posting a picture of him blocking Drake and shit. Clearly, they're still friends. And it made sense anyway because I think, you know, they've got a collaboration or, you know, friendship and shit. Because if I'm not mistaken, Drake has a sicko tattoo somewhere in his body also. So clearly, they are friends. Or maybe not a, no, a revenge, I think, tattoo. One of them anyway. Brands associated with Ian Connor. So they're definitely friends, even though, you know, Ian Connor's got his allegations against his name, whatnot. That's not important. But still, I think this type of shit suits Drake way more because that's the lifestyle he's currently on in it. And this is a picture taken from Ian Connor's Twitter that features actually Drake wearing um, one of the shirts that he's selling that says fucking all my ex's friends on tour, um, tour, whatever. And that's him kind of, you know, pictured um, wearing the t-shirt with his signature baggy jeans and the cameras as you can recognize and shit. And it looks like Drake, they take these glasses. So he doesn't wear them, I guess, when he's out and about, maybe he put contacts in, but it looks like he wears glasses day to day to kind of read shit and stuff, you know, the glasses king. I kind of need a pair myself but again i can't really picture myself ever wearing this shit seriously out there and again this is meant to be a baby t-shirt you're meant to put this on your baby imagine putting this shirt on your baby it's a bit much in it personally um but design wise pretty decent looks pretty great the the, the you know the, the cut of the t-shirts are nice i think they're all kind of done um bespoke if i'm not sure i think they're done by that guy who used to run american apparel i've got the thing it's called i think it's called like la something now he changed the name of it but essentially he makes blanks for people and i think this is a custom shape of a t-shirt that he's got there and the text on the t-shirt what does it say here it says um fucking all fucking all my ex's friends tour vip only sick of life for atlanta thursday 12 15th it says sarah take her out to an expensive dinner and then cheap room I don't know, it's a bit weird. Another one says Monday the 12th at the bottom here. Um, hope Mrs. Williams is home and hey and hates her daughter as much as I do. Bit bit much in it. Bit much, but you know, I'm not I'm probably the only one who's probably saying that because judging by online, it looks like it's probably doing pretty well in terms of sales. Let's click the black t-shirt and see if it's done. The, the hat is only $50, so big up him for making the hat um, a good enough price for people to purchase. But, okay, he hasn't sold out much as any of the other things he's purchased. Never I, oh, I despise, I despise, I despise 
websites with music. So I'm going to mute the site when I get back on here. Let's mute that site. Yeah, I had to mute that site. I hate that. That's one thing I absolutely detest, legitimately detest. Um, this kind of reminds me of like the early 2000s, you know, of websites where they'll have like animations and stuff or they'll have music that you can't like turn off. Like there's no button here to turn off the music. It just plays in the background without you playing it. Like I absolutely despise people playing fucking music on their websites and not giving the option to just even turn it off. Everything should be fucking on mute. But anyway, that's it. That's the t-shirt. Check it out if you're interested. Available on bornfrompain.jp, um, Ian Connor's brand. Um, so the sicko merch is out there. The hat for me is probably the best thing. I definitely would wear the hat. That looks pretty cool. You could definitely kind of freak that. But the rest of it is probably a little bit, um, you know, beyond me in terms of making that work. But big up Ian Connor for putting that together. Big up 